Hi, I'm Jamie Bolt. I'm the Executive Director of Globe Theatre. Welcome to our space. Hi, I'm Jeff Wynott and I'm the Interim Artistic Director here at Globe. You may not know this, but uh, Globe has been here in Regina for 54 seasons. We're in our 54th season right now. It is Canada's only fixed round, which means that uh, unlike any other theatre in the country, we have audience on all sides of the stage. It's a pretty incredible experience. So, very exciting for us, the, uh, the show coming up after Christmas is called Exit Pursued by Bear. We'd love to share a little bit about that show. We're billing it as a revenge comedy. It is really funny, it's pretty dark, it deals with a very serious topic uh, with a great deal of humour. So, one of the things that we're doing around this show, uh, and that's very important to us, is the show is about interpersonal violence. Um, and the strength of a woman who is managing through that process. We've partnered with the Provincial Association of Transition Houses and we've been working with them over the past few months to ensure that um, we're doing this correctly. Um, we recognize that Saskatchewan leads the country in domestic violence, interpersonal violence, uh, and so we want to use this as an opportunity to have some dialogue. So working along with paths, we have done some communication things, made sure we've passed everything through them. And also to, um, to sort of expand on that, we're gonna be doing a community uh, consultation one day where we'll have a panel of uh, experts and folks from the police and um, various uh, groups that work with individuals that are experiencing uh, or have witnessed interpersonal violence. And so we're gonna open that up for free to the community to attend as well. Starting at the end of January, January 30th, on our second stage in our Sandbox series, we have a show called Every Brilliant Thing, which features an amazing Saskatchewan actor named Jen Lee Hyde. Uh, it's a show that deals with mental health, uh, but it's going to be funnier than you think. And once again, Globe being conscious of um, raising issues and experiences for people. We are also providing resources for folks around mental health and we really are encouraging uh, the dialogue around mental health and raising awareness so that we can have conversations and get it out there and, and talk about this topic. That's what we like to do in the theatre. We like to start conversations. So as you may have heard, uh, we've got a little bit of money to do some renovations on our building. And uh, we're so grateful to the federal, provincial governments, as well as the city of Regina, who are supporting us in this effort. This redevelopment, they call it the pumpkin project. So basically they're hollowing out our entire building, turn it upside down, everything's gonna fall out and we're gonna start fresh. Uh, we're really excited about this when the announcement was made and now the work is beginning. We're gonna be out of our building, but we're not going anywhere. You're gonna see Globe Theatre, in surprising places, doing surprising stuff, uh, in more ways than you can even imagine. We're gonna be all over town. And the project is a two-year project. So we'll be out of our building for approximately two years. The goal is for September 2022, we will be back here with a great show for you. Uh, and in the meantime, we encourage you to come on this adventure with us over the next two years. It's gonna be very fun. And as Jeff said, surprising. So what you can expect when you come into our new space and things we have heard from patrons and we are work, going to work on. So we will have increased seating, better accessibility, no more baths. That's a thing for us here. Um, better leg room. Yes. Uh, you're, we're still gonna be in this great old building. It won't feel the same when you get here. Uh, you're gonna arrive on Scarth Street like you always have, but you're gonna go right in the building. Uh, there's gonna be a beautiful lobby there with box office right away. The whole thing is about the patron experience from the moment you enter the building. That's half of our puzzle. The other half is how to make the other stuff, the backstage stuff, work better. So we're gonna have better facilities for the actors, we're gonna have better studios for rehearsal, the auditorium is gonna be different, we're gonna be able to do all kinds of surprising things in that auditorium that we can't do right now because our building just doesn't support it yet. But don't worry, we are still in the round. Absolutely, it's mm -hmm. Globe. Yeah, that is Globe. Don't worry, we're still gonna have Globe Theatre School. It's not gonna be in this building because it's not a great building for us anymore, but it's gonna happen. There's gonna be classes for kids, classes for adults, all the kinds of things that you've come to expect about Globe Theatre School are still gonna be happening. Stay tuned for location. So it's very important for us that Globe 
uh, remain downtown. And actually not just for us, but for downtown as well. Part of the, uh, the city's plan to revitalize downtown really stems on Globe Theatre being in this space. Not only is our beautiful heritage building in need of repairs, and, and we recognize that as a, a center in Regina's downtown, but we've made such key partnerships with small businesses, local businesses, and we want to make sure that, that two years from now that we come back and that we're back in this community that we love to be in. Yeah, we like to think of ourselves as one of the many magnets to downtown so that what we have discovered over the years is that Globe starts to work in like in conjunction with the people around us. So we have restaurants that uh, tie in what they serve and how mm -hmm. they market themselves to what's happening at Globe. We try to open our doors to uh, local downtown businesses to use our facilities for receptions. Um, yeah, we have a yeah. good partnership with the Cornwall Centre. It just feels like our home and it feels like the centre of the city. Absolutely. We have 60,000 or over 60,000 folks uh, that come into our space over a season and we recognize the value of that in the downtown and we want to make sure that we're back here to, uh, to support this area. Keep welcoming people downtown. Mm -hmm.